Hey there, so I'd just like to show you how to calibrate your dosing pumps using Robotank. So what I like to use is this API test tube. It's five millimeters up to the line there, so it's a nice, ac nice small uh, measurement to work with. Over here we've got our four dosing pumps. Um, I'm just going to use one of them for the demonstration. And I've got a reservoir here with water. And here's our tube where our water comes out. So if we go into the controller here, go to settings and go to dosing here we have our dose amount so let's set that down to five millimeters and we'll push our manual dose and we heard our pump go off now we'll go to our hardware and dosing pumps and this is where we calibrate it now so we want to just change our pump rate so we want to take our little uh, hose here put it in the tube and I'm just going to set this down and we didn't get very much there. So let's increase our pump rate. So now I've just put the pump rate up to 380. And we'll push it. And we can see that still needs quite a bit more. So I'll increase it here to 900. See what happens there. So we've got it at 900. And I'm just going to empty my tube. Okay, so I got too much there. And we'll hit manual dose. And you can see it's just a little bit short there. So we'll up it to 940. Empty our tube, and I'll just show you. We've got 940 set there now. We'll push manual dose. And there it is, perfect. Empty it. Just run it again here. And right to our line. So now for a better test, we'll empty out our measurement cups. And here you can see the measurements on the big cup. So we'll go in the controller. We'll go back to dosing. Now let's increase our dose amount to maybe 50 millimeters. So we can see here we've got a 50 millimeter mark there. And I'll hit manual dose. And let's see if it fills up to that line. One thing to always keep in mind after you've calibrated it, it will always be 5 millimeters. They are quite accurate. I'm just using these cheap dosing pumps, so the better pump you use, the better performance you'll get. But one thing I've noticed with these ones is if the pump hasn't pumped every, anything all day, the water slowly goes up the tube a bit. So after you calibrate it, it's good to let the hose just sit like it would overnight or until your next dosing. Then put it back in your little test tube, set it to five millimeters and see what it actually fills up to. And then uh, do it that way. Because some of these uh, cheaper uh, dosing pumps, they don't hold, they don't pinch the hose tight enough or either the water's evaporated I'm not sure but anyways it has finished and as you can see we're filled right to 50 so that's how you calibrate your dosing pumps um, you can also uh, refill it I'll just show you this here while I'm in this let's go back to our hardware our dosing pumps here we can set our dose capacity um, or bottle capacity rather that's how much uh, the reservoir holds before it goes dry so you can put it all the way up to well you can see here 2.5 uh, gallons or down to as low as you want and then uh, it will calculate how many doses are in there and it shows up here the maximum doses you can have in a reservoir is 255 so thanks for watching